I guess this is hello. Welcome, and today I am doing something a bit easier, a pre-algebra review. This review will go very fast, so feel free to rewatch if needed. First of all, you may be wondering what an integer is, so let's look at the number line. An integer is anything on a number line, including negative 4, 7, and 18. All integers. Next, we have the absolute value of a number. This is shown using these little bars and is basically the distance from the number line. For a positive number, the absolute value is the same, and for negative numbers, it is the opposite. Here are a few more examples. Now we will start with operations using negative numbers. Alright, so the first example that we have here is 4 plus negative 3, which will simply reduce to 4 minus 3. Negative 3 plus 4 will also reduce to 4 minus 3. Negative 3 minus 4 will just be negative 3 minus 4 and equal negative 7, and 3 plus 4 will of course equal 7. If you're having trouble figuring it out, it might be easier to just think about it as a number line. Next, subtracting integers. First we have negative 3 minus 4, which will simply equal negative 7. 4 minus negative 3, the negatives will cancel and we get 4 plus 3, which equals positive 7. 4 minus 3 will equal 1 as regular. Negative 4 minus negative 3 will have the negatives cancel and equal negative 4 plus 3, which is 3 minus 4 and equals negative 1. Next, multiplying integers, we have 4 times negative 3 will equal negative 12. Negative 3 times negative 4, the negatives will cancel, and so we will have positive 12. 4 times 3 as regular will equal 12. And if we have a big number here that has lots of factors, then the way that we can tell whether it's a positive or negative answer is by looking at the amount of negative factors there are. If there is an odd number, the answer is negative. If there's an even amount of negative factors, then the answer is positive. When we look at dividing integers, it's basically the same as multiplying them. If you have 4 over negative 3, then the answer is negative, and so on as with multiplication. And here's a quick summary. You can take a minute to look at all of this. And thank you for watching. That is all.